Christmas cup. It's the best sized cup I've got. I like big cups. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 77 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. 77, not a special number, but still quite a big number. And we've been doing this for 77 weeks now. <laughs> this week I'm gonna do something new. I'm gonna try, well, I'm not actually gonna do something new because this is the only thing I've been doing for the past like year and a half. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna model something and I'm only allowed to eat to extrude an S to scale. So that's been sort of the two key words or two key strokes that has been following this whole series along. And today I'm only allowed to use E to extrude and S to scale. I'll probably allow myself to lock stuff to axes as well. So, but the only operations, no insets, no uh, loop cuts, no, uh, I don't know, bevels, whatever else I do, it's not that much. But again, only E to extrude and S to scale. And uh, to celebrate this occasion, I'm also gonna do what I did in the very first episode of the 10 minute modeling challenge, and that's to model myself a little spacecraft. So this is actually gonna be the third spaceship that I'm doing, but only E to extrude and S to scale. We finally also released version 21 of the Line War Alpha. That was a tough sprint. We spent two months doing this. Uh, it's probably taken a little bit, well, actually it's 10 weeks, but we're really happy with the result. We're slowly heading towards our early access. And uh, we'll have to revise the exact date when we can go for the early access. But meanwhile, you can wishlist Line War at, uh, over at the Steam page. So check in the description, head over there and uh, get, do us a big favor. <laughs> do yourself a big favor and uh, wishlist this game. Because wishlist this game. Wishlist this game. Wishlist this game. Sounds strange. Anyway, that would help us out a lot anyway, because uh, we want to try to promote this game a little bit further and uh, get some eyes on it. Maybe it's not your cup of tea. In that case, grab yourself a cup of coffee and wishlist it anyway. <laughs> and tell your friends. All right, oh, I'm not even gonna drink this. All right, let's uh, do it. 10 minutes modeling challenge, episode 77. Only allowed to do E to extrude and S to scale. And uh, we're gonna put 10 minutes on the clock. Never put this in, but let's uh, do it for a change. Ready, steady, go, and we're off. Time into edit mode, three for face select. Can only do E to extrude and S to scale, remember, but we need auto mirror. So everything looks great in symmetry, we know that. So I'll select a few of these here and bring that in maybe. E to extrude, S to scale. And I can grab these, E to extrude, S to scale. And let's bring it back here as well. E to extrude and S to scale. Only keys allowed, E to extrude, S to scale. But let's get the wings out going here. So I'll select these, E to extrude, S to scale. I can press Z though, because it's a, like a secondary operation. So it only scales on the X axis then, but it's theoretically and practically only E to extrude and S to scale. E to extrude, S to scale. And here should we do E to extrude, S to scale. So I don't know why I did that instead of, because I can't do loop cut, that's why. So well, I'll select uh, a few of these. Let's do like those slanted wings that I usually do. E to extrude, S to scale. Let's bring that in slightly, get some more interesting shape. And since I can't really rotate now, I'll have to do this manually. I have to bring that out and bring that out. So I can extrude it down in an angle now without rotating. So there we go, E to extrude, S to scale. And E to extrude, let's bring it in manually. And scale X zero, and then E to extrude, S to scale. Or no, I'll do E to extrude S to scale. And let's go for some like weirdo wing tips here. I usually do like a reverse. I don't know why I do this actually. E to extrude S to scale, but it's quite common on my ship that I do that. All right, let's grab it to there. And let's put some engines on here. So we'll put them on the wings first. E to extrude S to scale. And here I need to bring this one in because I want to grab these and make some engines out of them. E to extrude, S to scale, and bring them back like this. And here, E to extrude, bring that down. Scale, Y zero to flatten it. E to extrude, and let's put some engines here. Should we go big first? No, let's just go like this. Go big or go home, let's just go home this time. E to extrude, S to scale, and E to extrude. And here should we do like, Engine, more engines. You can never add too many engines, I don't think. And so E to extrude. Let's make it a little bit wider here at the back. So E to extrude that on. And that looks pretty cool, maybe. Scale Y0 to flatten it. Bring it back. And E to extrude. And E to extrude as the scale. 
E to extrude S to scale and E to extrude in. Okay. We need to put uh, some, let's put some fins or features here on the side. So E to extrude and S to scale. Bring it in there. Scale on the Y axis and E to extrude and S to scale. Maybe that's too big. Bring those back and we'll put fins here as well. So we'll do not all the way to the end of the engine, but E to extrude, S to scale, and S to scale on the Y axis. Should bring it into there. I'll, I want to slant these a little bit, so I have to select these since I can't rotate it and bring those down to there. And E to extrude, S to scale, and bring those back to aggressive look. There we go. Uh, so 629, I have to do the front here as well somehow. So we'll do the same as usual, E to extrude, S to scale. <laughs> E to extrude, bring it down so the cockpit can see a little bit here. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude. Let's put some front wings on this thing as well. Scale on the Z axis. So bring it in, E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale, and E to extrude, S to scale. And let's move that into there. Let's get it a little bit pointier. like this should do. And let's put some slanted wings here too. So I'll control select these, bring them in. I speak as if this was a tutorial. <laughs> it took true. That's the scale. And here, I'll put even more features here. It took true. No one knows what this is. It's just, it's just shapes uh, that makes it interesting. It took true. That's the scale, hopefully anyway. Bring that in to there. Let's bring this up. Just want to have it a little bit bulkier here maybe uh, some manual tweaking there and here let's put the, like these air intakes that don't exist of course uh e to extrude s to scale that down and bring that up a little bit and here we'll do those intakes i'm gonna go get comments there are no intakes on spaceships but on this spaceship it is ha <laughs> scale oh what happened e to extrude s to scale only allowed to E to extrude S to scale, zero on the Y axis there. So that's it. Uh, fourth, I have to put some more interesting features here. Now we need a cockpit first of all. So let's box or let's select a few of these. And let's go overboard actually. Not overboard, but let's go here. E to extrude S to scale and move that in slightly. And I have to move this forward to make it a little bit pointier up there and then uh, let's put some features here put like a band across here e to extrude s to scale i have to colorize it too so first time i go into and then i get, went out of it because i didn't want to be in uh, vertex select anymore <laughs> okay this looks too flat here so let's move this in how am i doing four minutes should be enough okay i don't like the look of this so i'll have to do e to extrude s to scale that one down Let's just put some features there. And this is way too flat as well. Should we bring it in? Scale, of course. That's it. I'm not happy that I brought it in, but let's not bring that up. Okay. I should colorize it a little bit too. This is too bulky in the front here. So maybe I'll do Alt. Select a few loops here. Can I scale this down or bring it in at least? Let's just bring it in. It was just too fat in the front. All right, I need to colorize it a little bit now. I don't know what happened here. That's some sort of a hatch of some sort. Some sort of a hatch of some sort. E to extrude, S to scale. Let's just put some more weirdo features on here. To put some fake details on this thing. E to extrude, S to scale. Maybe it'll look a bit aggressive if you move them back like this. Too. I don't know why everything has to look aggressive, but I guess that means it looks cool, right? E to extrude, S to scale. And we should uh, have some sort of a uh, color here on the cockpit as well. So let's colorize this. The, I guess the whole spaceship now is going to be scale zero white for a change. And bring that in. Got some weird uh, face angles here, but that's okay. I think. Right. Uh, so two minutes. Uh, let's colorize this. So I shift select a few of these. G on the G on the left. Move it to black. Make it nice and clear. Let's put some blue accents on it for a change. 
so these that I'm shift selecting now, I'm going to go blue with. Should we put blue wingtips there, maybe? And I'm going to do control plus to grow that selection, I think. Or am I? No, I'm not. These trims could be blue as well, right? I will actually press control plus once. So I want to grow the selection now. So there we go. G and move that to like a blue color. Can't even pick which boot that that looks alright. And then for the engines here, we have to do uh, black is of course inside, so it looks like it's uh, dark. <laughs> Control. What happened there? Selected too many. So shift select a few of these. One minute, thirty seven. Control plus to grow that selection. Let's go gray first then, and then go on the inside here, black. You can never have too many fins. E to extrude, SD scale. You probably can, but E to extrude, SD scale. Let's put some more on here anyway. Bring this back. And I want to put some fake shading on it too. Maybe on some of the areas here. So if I do, I've got one minute to just do some. No, I didn't want to select all the way to there. E to extrude, SD scale. Don't like that the blue came with there. So we'll have to do something else then. Let's put some detail here. E to extrude. And S to scale. And then I'm going to put some accents on some of the edges here now. We've only got 35 seconds, so let's Alt and ring select a few things here. Like this, maybe. Yeah, and then let's just go scale, zero, and... I can't use the move tool, so I'll have to do this manually, I guess. Put that on a dark gray just to get some accents on it. And we'll do P to extrude, S to scale. Bring that forward. So, there, that's it! Time's up! Dismiss. So, let's see what we got. Have to analyze it now. All right. Yeah. I don't know what to think. I'm actually quite happy with the shape of it. Could have done with some different colorization, maybe, and some different, uh, like, areas. Maybe that should have been black in there, but that's okay, I guess. Got no weapons on it, but it's a traveling ship. Buck Rogers. Here we go. So for a top-down shooter, let's see, tab out of edit mode, and that could be, uh, like, rendered quite neatly into a game if you're doing a top-down shooter or something. Arcade style game. Could do loads of these to do it like a Space Invaders or something. So, one of the quickest episodes in the history of 10 MMC. Uh, there's actually one episode that was exactly 10 minutes. Don't know if you've uh, seen that one. It was the first one that actually lived up to its name of the, being the 10 minute modeling challenge, but it was exactly 10 0 0 0 0 on the clock. There was no intro, no outro, no unnecessary talk. <laughs> there we go, folks. We've got ourselves another spaceship, installment number three. <laughs> out of the lot. And uh, this time around, I was only allowed to use E to extrude and S to scale. And maybe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, hopefully that's all I used. And uh, I tried to avoid all the other uh, shortcuts, like uh, loop cut I was really missing, and rotate, and G even, to just to move things. But I had this manipulator, so I could actually move those uh, little like edges and vertices anyway. So it saved me a little bit to get uh, some of the slanted edges there. And as usual, the auto mirror, or this, the mirroring modifier altogether, uh, saves us because everything looks better in symmetry. Everyone knows that. Especially me, because I'm a symmetrical freak. I love it. <laughs> so the tip this week, uh, and this is going to be especially useful to all of those of you who have been following this channel all the way from the beginning, especially from the 10 minute modeling challenge beginning. So the tip this week is going to be E to extrude and S to scale. <laughs> all right, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a, please, please give it a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Oh. I think a uh, glass just shattered upstairs. Right, I'll have to... Uh... It's not my kids because they're in school, so it must be my wife. Have a great week, everyone, and uh, come back next week for another episode of the 10-Minute Modeling Challenge. And I uh, hope you're having a good time this summer, and uh, yeah, let's end it there. Bye for now.